giving his speech. From this day forward, you will honor the oaths you have made to Her Majesty the Tsaritsa, and you will stop at nothing to bring Snezhnaya victory. You shall sweep through this land like the icy winds of the furthest north, as strong as the hoarfrost of Zeppeljarni Palace. You will chill the very marrow in our enemy's bones. Her Majesty expects of you loyalty, Ruthlessness and meticulousness. For the trials that we face are harsh, and our enemies are like. Uh, and like kites and rattle drums, who shall become redoubtable foes of Mr. Cyclops in the marketplaces of Liu. Uh huh. Kites are really fun, too. This is, of course, an analogy. As they say, the marketplace, too, is a battlefield. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So as your sales manager here in Liyue, I demand that you obey my every order. A refusal shall be considered a betrayal, and the price for betrayal is to be dishonorably discharged from... <clears throat> uh, from the Liyue Institute of Toy Research. Whoa, that's really strict. Won't people be really sad if they get fired from the Institute? Huh? Uh, uh, seeking to please everyone pleases no one at all. Time to try something else. Forget it. Perhaps a round of hands-on training will suit us better. Hands-on training? After all, uh, a strong body is the proof of one's capacity. Hey, did... did he just say that we're doing hands-on training? A Harbinger wants to spar with us personally? Well, what an honor! I can't believe it! Are recruits like us really worthy? Am I hearing a hint of objection to this idea? Not at all, sir! That's the spirit! Now come at me, you lot! You'll get frostbite. Have a load of this. Oh, <laughs> 
touching. Stand clear. Don't break my glasses. This is long overdue. Enhanced cannon will module 75. Shouldn't let your guard down. Well then, do you all understand what I said earlier? Yes, yes sir. sir! Excellent. And you all almost managed to get me limbered up. In other words, you've done well for new recruits. Thank, Thank you, Lord Harbinger! Harbinger. <laughs> all right, hush now. <clears throat> now then, I wish you all glorious victory for Snezhnaya, for Her Majesty the Tsaritsa, and for yourselves. Dismissed! Brother! You are amazed! Oh, Tusser! What in the world are you doing here? There I was thinking that the Traveler had taken you to play at Wang Shuin. <laughs> Yikes! That's some terrible acting! <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I never pass on an opportunity to improve my strength. I'm not the man I was when we first met. By that, I assume you mean that I didn't use the foul legacy transformation, yes? It puts a great strain on my body, so it's best saved for crucial moments. I still haven't fully recovered from the injuries I suffered when I used it at the Golden House. Anyway, I'm no Senora. I don't use lethal force against recruits. Come on now. The foul legacy transformation? Does it make you stronger than Mr. Cyclops? Uh, you could say that. I want to learn to fight too. I want to be cool like you. Now too, sir. Fighting isn't about looking cool. You can only continue to get stronger if you know the reason why you're fighting. I can teach you, but think carefully first. Why do you want to fight? I... Hmm? I... I want to protect Sister Tonya. That's a good answer, Tusser. When I return to Snezhnaya, I will start teaching you fighting techniques. Then you'll have to protect Tonya for me. How does that sound? <laughs> Leave it to me! You know, Tusser's a good kid when he's not being so stubborn. You've had a nice long time here in Liyue, haven't you, Tusser? Isn't it about time that you took the boat back home? But, 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 you've been so busy, and we didn't get any time to play together yet. Too, sir, you know I'm very busy at work. And hasn't it been fun traveling all over the place with a proper traveler? He's just worried he won't be able to keep up the toy seller act forever. Well, how about this? If you just do one little thing for me, I'll be a good boy and go back home. 
Oh dear, who taught this little devil to bargain? <laughs> All right, what'll it be? Take me to visit the Institute of Toy Research! Do you think he means that ruin that the Millilith was talking about? The one where all the ruin guards were coming from? Done deal. After all, you've come all this way for me too, sir. As your brother, it's only right for me to grant you one last wish before you leave. Exactly! <laughs> um, are you sure this is a good idea? It doesn't seem like the best place for kids. You should come along too, Traveler! This time, it's Tuser's turn to take you sightseeing. Hmm, let me think. Ah, yes, the Institute of Toy Research is not far at all from Lingju Pass. Now, Traveler, you're not the sort of person who would disappoint a kid now, are you? Ugh, the brothers are ganging up on us again. Oh, fine, we'll go. Here we are. Welcome to Liyue's Institute of Toy Research. Yeah, we're here! I can already hear the sounds of machinery inside. Awesome! What is this place? And how do you know about it? Based on my limited understanding, I believe this is one of Dottore's research facilities. Dottore is another one of the Fatui Harbingers. He loves tinkering with old things. It's a personal passion of his. So, he converted these ruins into a Ruin Guard research lab. Huh? So the Ruin Guards are built by the Fatui? No, they have much closer connections to the Abyss. So, strictly speaking, they're as much our enemies as anyone else's. We just do research, nothing more. As to why the Ruin Guards have been moving outside of this area recently, I can only imagine that he's gotten bored of playing around with them, and has lost interest in this place. Wow, yet another Harbinger with a bad attitude. But at least this explains why you were totally okay with bringing Tuser here. Seems you did your homework ahead of time. Well, I wouldn't go quite that far. I actually have no idea what this place is like on the inside. Wait, so are you or are you not worried about your brother's safety? Of course I am. But no matter what the danger is, I will parry it. Isn't that what any older brother would do? Even Tuser understands that, now that he knows what he's fighting for. It's the very same reason that's been nestled in my own heart for so many years. What are you guys chatting about? Come on, let's go in! <laughs> Alright, follow me. Chivalry will never die. I... I can do it. For justice. Brother? Someone was saying that 
Mr. Cyclops is a killing machine. Were they now? What a silly thing for them to say. And you shouldn't go repeating it either, Tuser. You're far too young to be talking about such violent topics. Yeah, I knew that they were lying anyways. Mr. Cyclops is here to defeat the bad guys and protect the world. He's my favorite toy. Right. With Mr. Cyclops around, the bad guys won't ever get you. <laughs> That's right. Okay, I'm going to go play with Mr. Cyclops now. Hey, Tuser, wait up! Th the door's shut! Will Tuser be alright? There's another path over there. Let's move. Was that you? That's right. But give me a moment over here, Tuser. I need to make sure that everything's safe. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have spoiled him quite so much. Those ruin guards have all been strung up. Where are they being taken to? I don't know. But if there's a chance it's where Tusser is, we need to stop this before things get ugly. Time to lose. Rain 
outlines your fate. No time to lose. Yeah. Yeah. Tucer, see that big stone cube in front of you? I need your help. Yay! Do I really get to help my big brother out? You bet. Now I'll count down from three, and then we touch it together. Ready? Three, two, one. Back together at last. You're not hurt, are you, Tucer? Hurt? No way. This is really fun. Fine for you, maybe. We were all scared to death. What's over there? Wow, this room is huge. Is this where Mr. Cyclops takes his friends when they come to visit? It is. Impressive, isn't it? Now, how about a little game of hide-and-seek? Huh? Now? <laughs> I have a surprise for you, you know. A surprise? Oh, what sort of surprise? Don't worry, you'll have the chance to look for it later. But before that, you have to close your eyes, turn around, and count down from 60. Okay. 60 is a really long time, though. There's not much time. Let's clear all these hazards out. Mind your fate. 48, 47, 46, 45. Are you guys okay? What's all that crashing and banging? Don't worry, it's all part of the surprise. Cheating! You skipped a few numbers, you little rascal. <laughs> you noticed. All right, all right. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. Give me another 10 seconds, Tucer. Still hiding. Huh. Now who's the cheater? <laughs> All right. 10 seconds, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Wow. He actually pulled it off. And the way he knocked those ruin guards around was like they really were kids' toys. But Paimon wonders if he'll be alright after using the Valve Legacy transformation again. Awesome! <laughs> Boy, if these Mr. Cyclopses weren't so big, I'd sure love to take one home. Wait! Where'd he go? Where'd my brother go? Aren't you guys supposed to be playing hide-and-seek? Oh, that's right! I was so excited that I forgot all about our game! Well, let's go look for him together, okay? Next on the agenda... It's a good thing that you two found me first. Looks like using the foul legacy transformation while I was still injured took more out of me than I thought. I have no idea what I'd do if Tucer saw me like this. Look at me, deflated as a burst balloon. Like I said, I can never pass on an opportunity to test my limits. And that's why I, Tartaglia, am always getting stronger. <laughs> anyway, childhood dreams are all too easily shattered. Even if you just leave them be, they will fall to pieces all by themselves. So someone has to protect them, right? If you make a promise, you keep it. If you make a mistake, you apologize. And if you give someone a dream, you defend it to the end. That is what family is all about, isn't it? <laughs> Remind you of something, did I? <coughs> Quit the tough guy act already. You need to see a doctor right away, mister. A fine suggestion, but first... <laughs> I have a little something for Tucer. Please give it to him on my behalf. Huh? Is this... a Mr. Cyclops action figure? Indeed. I had made it to order by a smith some time back. I had intended to give it to him on my return to Snezhnaya. But it seems that it would make a better souvenir at this point. Wow. Now that Paimon thinks about it, Child's family are really lucky to have him, aren't they? <laughs> I'll also need you to explain my abrupt departure to Tucer. You'll help me out, won't you? <laughs> the cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. Ah, that nursery rhyme brings back so many delightful memories. Tucer taught you that one, did he? All right, thank you. play here a little longer. Wow, look at this! I never knew that they made Mr. Cyclopses in this sock. Look, it even has my name on it! It's my very own Mr. Cyclops! You're really loving it, huh? You bet! My brother is the best big brother ever! You had a tour of Leela, you met your brother, visited the Institute of Toy Research, and got yourself a souvenir! Now that's what we tour guides call the perfect trip. Do you think you're ready to head back to Snezhnaya now? <laughs> Don't worry. I know I can't get my way all the time. That'd just be annoying for everyone else. So, let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sir, young Master Tusser, I've been waiting for you. Did Child send you? That's correct. Master Child instructed me to arrange for young Master Tusser's return trip. Please. Who are you? My big brother always tells me never to go off with strangers. But you've been following us around this whole time. Yeah, that's because I've known who you are all along. Um, what? My brother told us all about you in a letter he sent back home. Sister Tonia read it to me. I actually recognized you the moment I saw you. I just couldn't remember your name. What a strange twist of fate. <laughs> Young Master Tusser, the boat to Shneznaya will dock soon. We'd best prepare for boarding. Gee. Time really flies when you're having fun. Well then, see you, Mr. Nice Guy. I'll wait for you back home. You definitely, definitely have to come visit Snezhnaya sometime. Pinky promise? You make a pinky promise, you keep it all your life. You break a pinky promise, Paimon throws you on the ice. The cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. <laughs> it's a promise, then. Bye-bye, Tusser. Have a safe trip. Hey. Child? So you were here this whole time? What are you hiding for? Why didn't you come and say goodbye? Partings are special moments. If he spent his final moments in Liyue seeing me all haggard and weak like this, that's not a memory I want him to leave with. Still, it is a shame that I couldn't see him off by myself. <sighs> I should have been the one taking him back. I do have subordinates to escort him, but I still feel a little uneasy. Jeez, don't you think you spoiled him enough already? <laughs> I can't quite explain it, but... Somehow I felt much more at ease leaving him in your care. And to think that not long ago we... Ah, yes, I almost forgot. Remuneration for your services, which I really couldn't have done without this time. Aha! So you do have a heart after all. One other thing. Don't forget our promise now. Let's have a rematch when we get the chance. This time, with my honor as a harbinger on the line. You best go rest up first. Don't come crying to us when you lose all over again. <laughs> Regardless of who wins or loses our next bout, I'd also like to invite you over to my home. I'll introduce you to my other siblings, Tonya and Anthon. They're great kids, and I'm very proud of them both. We'll take you up on that offer. Mostly because we already made a pinky promise to two, sir. <laughs> I'm sure that he'll be very excited to see you, too. Well, that settles it. I'm looking forward to it. Now, farewell, my friends, till we meet again in Snezhnaya. Welcome to the Northland Bank. 